today's video, I saw this picture and I was like, is that on my comfort zone? I don't be doing that type of makeup. And that's a full, like, every type of process that you could do on an eye look. And it will be this one right here. I don't know if I'm going to put it on this side or if I'm going to put it here. But I saw it and I was like, you know what? Like, I don't have nothing to do. Let's just be productive, you know? Like, let's just do something about all this free time that I have on my hands now. Um, As you can see, I already have my eyebrows done. And I primed my eyes and my face is set to go. So, um, let's just get this started with and... Let's begin with this because I don't know how I don't know how this is gonna turn. Cause I love to do makeup. I know how to do my makeup, but to that point, let's just cross our fingers and let's just pray and hope for the best. Let's just get into it. Okay? In, into it. So if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and hope to see you here more often. So let's just get into this. So using the pressed powder, I'm gonna just like go a little bit in on my eyes and like put just a little bit of it on my lid. Just like, you know, just to get this, I don't know, like started, I guess. But yeah. Using the Neon Sprite, cause now I feel like this is my go-to and the james charles well they have always been my go-to and it's because i feel like i have every color i need in them and i just don't have to go like you know and like look for that specific shade and a different palette so that's why i use them all the time but um so in the picture you could see that she has she starts like oh uh, with the with a really bright pink like all the way from here like right to after do the cut crease but here i have this pink and then this really hot pink but i want to like use a transition 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 that's what you say transition transition, transition color because again i'm not like used to these type of colors you know what i mean but i'm gonna start with this one right here and then to this one and third so it will be one But I am planning on buying myself a new camera, like selling the one I have and just like getting a new one. Because for moments like this, I do want to have like something that way I could just like see the, let's say, because for every video, I always like plan what I'm going to do before I actually film a video, even though it turns out a completely different look. But I always like to have like a certain idea of what I'm doing beforehand so the fact that i use my phone to plan what i'm gonna do is like it's not that um convenient for me right now because i film with the phone you know what i mean so i don't have to explain that because that's easy to understand but on the phone you cannot see the details how i want you guys to see it but on the camera you can't see it you could see it but it'll I don't know how to do all that you know it's not that the camera is bad it's just that i don't know how to do it like i just don't know how, i just don't understand none of that you know so i'd rather just like leave it there than que dañarlo algo, you know what i mean because i don't want to no because that's fun you know what i mean you know what i mean okay so yeah it's like i wish you could guys see the details and the colors how they truly look because look here, it looks like a little bit of peach, pinky um, eyeshadow. But then there, it doesn't look that much. You know what I mean? So that's something I don't enjoy because I feel like it is low quality in a way, in a sense, you know. 
now going in with this bright pink right here So now going in with the darker shade. Using the James Charles, this pink, which I feel like is the same pink, but we're just going to use it, okay? Now going back into the neon bright using this purple right here. James Charles pinky I think it's a strawberry pinkity dinkity it's a name like that Okay, so right now I'm going to cut the, the crease. I'm going to just put some here. We have the cut crease done. So, oh my god, this looks not blended, but just give it a second. <laughs> so, um, I just love how this looks. Like, I could go for a day. So um, this is the tricky part because in this part, you can see that she has a smoky purple, dark purple, my bad, dark purple, blackish, really well done, smoky eye. But she still has pink starting like right here. I don't want to say the inner corner, but half of the inner corner, if you understand. So... 
I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna just try it because. I'm going with the dark purple. I'm going in with the black liner. Going in with the brights, neon brights, I'm going with this dark one right here. And I'm going to just like go over the black just to give it like that smoky um, eye look. So we're going to go in with this one. With the white liner. Going in with the black liner all the way at the end. Now we're going to go in with the mascara. I will finish my face and then I will come back that way. I will just like finish the final touches to the eyes and make this look look beautiful. So I will be back in a second. This is the final result. I hope you all like it and enjoy this video. I know it's, it will be a little bit long, but this takes a long time. It took me approximately like two to three hours to get it done. Probably because I'm not used to do like makeup like this. I have on two pairs of lashes. That's how you know I went in on this look. I went in. I went all in because... I really liked it. I was like, oh my God. And remember when I was like, I'm not a pink girl. And here am I doing like my third almost pinkish look. My God, who am I? Who am I? My God, I feel so new and so girl. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And um, what else can I say?